Hey there, StarCraft fans. It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Today for your Patreon cast. For the week of March the 15th, it's going to be Flash and it's going to be Bisu here on Benzene. Top right, it is our orange Terran player. It is Flash. And at the bottom left, Bisu, Sulky, and Light are watching in awe as these two titans clash again for the like 700,000th time. Hmm, how many player? Hmm, how many times have these two players played against each other? Napkin math. Uh, I don't know, like thousands of times. I feel like maybe not seven hundred thousand, but I don't really feel like that's out of the realm, right? Like ladder, laddering showing up against each other. I don't think they ever practiced against each other, but maybe they did. Maybe they did to hone their skills. Anyway, Benzene, kind of a weird map. You expand from top to bottom, or from bottom to top, depending on where you spawn. It is a two-player map. And wide open spaces and ramps are all over the place here. So... Are we command center firsting? We are not command center firsting. No, indeed. No, indeed, Flash. You respect BCU too much to do that. Just SCV scouting. Just, you know, sending out an SCV just to make sure no Nexus first is on the way here on this two-player map. <laughs> oh, but it is a proxy. All right. Fair enough. Proxy Rex opening here against BSU. And holy smokes on a smoker. It is. It's a Nexus first against Flash on a two-player map versus a proxy Rex. <laughs> All right, Bisu. I feel like we're going to go ahead and regret this decision very, very soon. Yeah. And again, this is a Patreon cast. For those of you who support me on patreon.com slash falconpaladin for at least $1 a month, you can see this a month before anybody else. And again, if you're watching this the week of March the 15th, I love you. Thanks for the support. And if you're watching this in April 2024 or later... Oh, just barely finished. Just barely finished that barracks. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. I am here six times a week with StarCraft Brood War content and trying to get to 100,000 subs. So if you're watching this, subscribe if you like Brood War and help me reach that goal for 2024. All right. So Steve the SCB says, I'm going to go ahead and build a bunker here. That's it. I'm just going to go ahead and build a bunker. Wait, hold on. What are we doing? Pulling the probes. Pulling the probes is Bisu. Steve says, hmm. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait until these marines show up to help me. <laughs> Scouting around. What do we see? Yep, there's gas. Alright, so two marines and a third marine on the way and building a bunker. Far away here from the Nexus. Oh, nice surround on that Marine. That was so important. And yo, he just defended with probes from a Nexus first against a proxy barracks. Ay, caramba. This is insane. All right. Well, um, this is why Bisu is amazing. He can do this against Flash, man. Okay, but seriously, four Marines maybe should be enough to handle a Zealot. Probably. Ah, I did get a Marine, though. God, it sucks. Coming back in. Like, well, maybe. Maybe there's not another Zealot, but then there totally is. And these oh, CVs did repair each other. Look how nice they are. By the way, Flash is not done with this. Flash is going to go ahead and bring a Vulture down because he's got a factory. So, Dragoon Production, yeah. Beast is working on Dragoon Production. Flash is like, I'm not done yet. You thought you had chased me away. No siree, Bob. Not even close. All right. Dragoons trying to get shots off on that Vulture. There we go. Nice target firing in particular. And again, the SCV pull. The bunker finishes. But I don't know if there's any way Marines are getting inside that bunker. These vultures, man, are absolutely sniping the ever-loving crap out of these probes. That worker count is 19 to 22 SC... Okay, this game is insane, and cha-chow, he did get the Marines into the bunker. They are firing away at this Nexus right now. Singularity Charge is on the way, but it's not here yet. 
How many Marines can we get inside the bunker? A four. We can fit four in there, guys. That's how many seats there are. The Vulture is adding in its DPS. Trying to get this Nexus down. Yep, this is a DEFCON 1 epic replay for sure already. BC trying to get away with a Nexus first against Flash of all players on Earth. And he might have just gotten absolutely punished for it. The Dragoons are like, we can... Our singularity charge is almost done. Our ultimate weapon is just about here. And then we can jump on it. Oh my gosh, this is so intense. No, no, no. Just kill the Nexus. Just kill the Nexus. Four, three, two, got it. Boom. That's it. That's all we wanted. We're going to repair. Why are we repairing this? You don't have enough SCVs to repair this. Yeah, just go home. Spider mines get laid just to delay the pursuit to... Ugh. Oh my gosh. Just to delay the pursuit, man. That's all we're here for. And that, that worked, man. Beast is like, ah, shucks. I gotta, I gotta rebuild my Nexus. Guess who already has a second base, though, almost. Flash. Flash does. So, Flash is way up here at six minutes into this game. He's gonna be a two-basing Terran at six minutes. Against a one-basing Protoss at six minutes. Bisu is in a world of trouble. He's making a Robo. What can save him now? Reaver drops. Maybe some Storm drops off of kind of two bases, almost. This is nuts. This is absolutely crazy. I mean... Armory's on the way, spider mines all over the place. Vulture, I guess? I, I don't know. Keeping an eye on this high ground, getting tanks up here is actually insanely powerful. Man, getting a couple sieged tanks up there would be nuts. Observatory on the way just to deal with these spider mines, and then from there maybe we get a support bay, maybe we get some reavers here, I don't know. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it, won't we? We certainly will, as always. Seed mode coming in. And it's a plus one vehicle weapons. Look at how many probes. There are 31 probes, and most of them are on that mineral line right now. They're finally manor transferring down to the second base, but man, that was an oversaturation. If ever there was one in the whole world. Finally, siege mode's on the way. I don't know. Flash is okay just being like, well, I got 37 to 32 workers on two bases. Bisu's second base is just now coming in. I guess he's waiting for siege mode. He's getting Caron boost rather quickly. I don't know if he wants to snipe OBS or what. There's your support bait. The vacuum cleaners are warping in now. Oh, high ground vulture dies. Yes. High ground misses are a thing, but they're not always a thing. There's not a 100% chance to miss up here. Look at this game trying to kill. He got a probe kill from that high ground spot. This little orange jumpsuit. Very fun stuff. Okay. Obs are out. Dragoons are now no longer trapped. Shuttle on the way from Bisu. Academy coming in from Flash solely for ComSat and the scanning purposes and actually getting shuttle speed very quickly too. As it makes a lot of sense. Faster shuttles a million times better than slower shuttles. Starport coming in. Maybe a Wraith to help deal with the incoming attacks of shuttles and, well, maybe Arbiters in the future here too. Power generator still allowed to stay up. You don't want that down because Vulture attack sneaking into your main base is really, really problematic. Yeah, Reaver's on the way. So, BC's like, well, let's get a third base before Flash gets his third base. That's a start. That is a step in the right direction. But man, that opening was intense. Bisu has survived it, yes. Flash scans in, sees the Robo Bay, says, uh huh. Reavers it is then. Siege tanks up in positions to deal with Reavers if they try to unload anywhere near his mineral lines. Scans up here to see if there's any Stargates or anything. No? Great. Wonderful news. Science facility, but also this could produce a wraith. You know, you know it's reaver drops. Like, at no point is a wraith going to be bad here. And here it comes, man. The shuttle doesn't have speed yet. It's not going to stop Bisu from showing up. 
and destroying all of your SCVs that you hold so dear to your heart, Flash. Keep watching that production tab, waiting for a wraith. No? Okay. Well, I guess you have Goliath with Charon boost. That's the second closest thing to a wraith in this position, yeah? Oh, are you going to run into... Where is this guy? Okay, he's heading out. Temple Archives coming in. Third CC. In production two. Good scan on the Templar Archives here from Flash. Another and oh, actually a dropship being produced. We had a control tower up. The starport to go for a dropship rather than a wraith. That was the plan for it. And I guess in the future for science vessels and EMPs and whatnot. I don't know. Bisu's okay. Bisu's down three workers. Could be so much worse. He's up a base on Flash. Could be so much worse. I mean, army values is about even, which not ideal. You don't want to be on even army value against a Mechang Terran as good as Flash is if you're Protoss, but it could be worse. The Terran could be up in overall army value, right? Right. Psionic Storm is on the way. Yeah, it looks, it looks like for now it's going to be a gateway storm composition out of Bisu, which is, you know, pretty normal, pretty standard stuff. Maybe a little Reaver stuff mixed in here as well. Oh, look at this guy. Ah, oh, look at that little trap. That little Reaver trap on that. He's like, somebody's going to come up this way. And if it's an SCV, so be it. And it was. And it totally was an SCV. Drop ship. Thinking about heading that way, but nope. Scans in. Sees the Dragoons there sees the Dragoons here and says, hmm, well, what if we go, uh, what if we go down here and you prevented yourself from getting in here by pylon walling that off. But guess what I have? That's right. Shuttles with Zealots and Reavers. So that takes, gonna have some kills. Four kills is not bad before it gets obliterated. This Vulture gets unloaded here. This Vulture gets unloaded in the main base. Gets a spider mine in that mineral line. That's never good. You got to stay out of there, Bisu, for sure. This guy going to town still. He's got seven kills. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, worker count 68 to 50 in favor of Flash right now. He got his third base rolling. He dealt with whatever was going on over here effectively well enough. Bisu's like, I got to get some damage done. I'm down like 20 workers to Flash. This is bad. Fourth base warping in for him in the top left. But Flash has got third bases rolling. He's okay. Yeah, I just think this early game definitely heavily, heavily supported Flash. And that's all there is to it. Factory, factory. More production all the way here. And yeah, spider mines all over the place. Trying to drop in here. Shuttle unloads. Gets a hit off. Teach State kills it. Zealots die. Meh. Very expertly fended off by Flash. Reaver's like, are you really not going to try to take a fourth base? You sent an SCV up here a while ago. Ow, ow, ow. Why are you not trying to do this, he says. Oh, the rear gets sniped, well, by siege tanks, I was going to say, and by vultures, an ignominious death if there ever was one. But expanding down, okay, interesting, down here to a fourth base, instead of taking this bottom right-hand corner as Flash, an interesting strategy. I don't know what this does for him exactly. This is further away, therefore easier to defend against drops compared to this. But uh, I guess maybe you establish this position as safe, and then you take this bottom right-hand corner? That seems like a fine idea, I suppose. But as usual, you don't want to go... Connection there. You don't want to take half a map against Flash in a PVT. I don't just don't think you want to take half a map against Flash no matter what the matchup is, no matter what's going on. If you try to just go half a map against Flash, he's going to be more cost efficient than you. Especially if he's mecking, which he is. So you need to take his base. You need to take technically, I think this is his. this is his? I don't know. Bisu's mounting a bit of a Dragoon Zealot. Oh, that's so many tanks. So you're not getting in there. You're probably not getting in here. Yeah, no. No, Bisu, I'm sorry. Either way, I think Bisu to win this game probably has to take this base 
and this space. If he takes one of those and Flash takes the other one, he loses. If he takes one of those and Flash doesn't take the other one, maybe he can win. And if nobody takes them, he loses. So those are the options here for Bisu economically. The way this game is right now, we are super macro. We are super economy oriented here. Look at how many vultures there are. I thought they were going to jump in there, dump a bunch of spider mines and call it a day. But instead they popped in and popped right back out across this bridge for some reason. I don't know. What are we at? Plus one attack here for the Dragoon. Siege tanks are at plus two, plus one. So upgrade advantage here from Flash 2. Not really incredibly surprised by that. But man, that early game alone. Bisu having the chutzpah. Having the intestinal fortitude to try to go Nexus first against Flash on a two-player map of all the things ever to be. Here we go. Ah, man, coming across this bridge. The pathing on the Dragoons is terrible. You're kind of funneling in. A lot of these guys at the back aren't attacking anything. You drop some storms on these tanks, though. Hey! Oh! That's a good start. These tanks have to come down from the south side to reinforce. Get some pretty solid hits off for sure. But Bisu cracks this position. Are you kidding me? I cannot believe he pulled that off. A big part of it was his ability to drop those High Templar on top of those tanks and storm them. A lot of tanks died during that assault. And look at this SCV massacre over here. The work account was 20 up for Flash, and now it is barely, like, what, 8? Eight? 8 up for Flash. A lot of SCVs have died. I'm pretty sure that you can save this command center. So, nice. I mean, that's what you needed to do. You needed to whittle down this tank count. You needed to out-expand the Terrans. So far, you've whittled down the tank count, but you haven't out-expanded Flash. And that's going to hurt you. That's going to hurt you quite a bit, I think. All right. Dragoons getting behind this mineral line. These Dragoons are veterans, man. They are veterans of that battle. Five kills and five kills apiece. They're going to kill this tank sent to kill them. That's how that we do. And there's a zealot in... Oh my gosh, Bisu's totally pulling back even in this game, y'all. I cannot believe it. This little zealot dragoon attack. That is a 10-kill zealot and an 8-kill dragoon, friends. Cool. Okay, even supply, still not great. Even base count, still not great for Bisu. Neither of the things are good for Bisu, but... It's better than where he was a minute ago when he was down 20 SCVs. Now he's down 3 SCVs. Oh, look at these SCVs having to stack on this guy. Okay, 8 kills on that Dragoon before he gets taken out. Absolutely bonkers. These bases still remain the most important bases on the map right now. As a Bisu, yes, that was good. It whittled down the tank count. It took down a lot of the worker count of Flash. A lot of Terran dominance there showed there too as a lot of Protoss units died. And being on even base count, this is just, it's tough. It's a tough ask. Did he just cancel an Arbiter Tribunal? He had an Arbiter Tribunal warping in, and I think he canceled it. Interesting. All right. Uh, sure. Generally not recommended to go across this bridge. But we're trying it anyway, friendos. A high Templar on loads get a storm off on some of these vultures more than the tanks. And where are the Zealots, man? Yeah, these Siege Tanks are still here. There are still a ton of them, and that attack is a little bit ill-fated. Maybe storming the tanks instead of Vultures would have been a better move, but I don't know. I don't know. Somebody's waypoint list is full. Somebody's units there. Flash continues to increase overall in worker count advantage. Still no one's taking these bases. The benefit here also to Bisu is that Flash hasn't really been able to move out. He's done a lot of Vulture Harass, which is thumbs up, right? That's the best thing you can do. But on the other side of it, no tanks have really managed to get across the map and threaten these bases at all. Usually by this point, I feel like Flash would have the ability to get a tank on this ramp, a couple tanks here, you know, but really he's just been largely throwing spider mines down. Bisu is trying to take this base, but immediately Flash sniffs it out, forces a cancel on it. Massive, massive, massive win.
Stasis on the way. These vultures are like, we're probably dead. <laughs> so let's go out with a bang. Let's fight, everybody. Let's try to kill one of these dragoons before we get murdered. And no, they lose focus. They could have killed one of these dragoons, and instead they almost kill one. More vulture harassment up over this way, though, as, yeah, you think your tanks are going to save your probes at this stage of the game? No. And by tanks, I mean cannons. Yeah, these vultures have three two upgrades. Your cannons don't kill them fast enough to prevent the death of every one of your probes. And now it's 57 to 46 workers. Flashes up by one. Recall on the way. I've, I've cast a bunch of games where recall has been used against Flash and Terran in particular. And I feel like what we generally get is a big recall into the main base of the Terran doesn't end up doing as much as the Protoss wants it to. Recalling onto expansions, on the other hand, has been way more efficient. So I'm curious to see if maybe Bisu can get a recall on this base or this base, wipe it out, and then kind of ride that to a victory. I feel like it's possible at this stage of the game. I guess while we're just kind of hanging out, remember, hit that like button. Subscribe. I'm here six times a week with Brood War content with players like Flash and Bisu. Give me a break. What else do you want from these guys? What else do you want from this channel besides Flash and Bisu? That's all anybody ever wants. I guess maybe Flash versus Jadong on Tau Cross is what more people want. It's like the greatest StarCraft 2 game ever played. People never get sick of it. I think I posted it three times on my channel. Once in original graphics, once in remastered graphics, and once in Carbot. And every time it becomes like a top 10 most watched thing on my channel of all time. You guys are crazy. You love that game. I love that game too, don't get me wrong. Look at Bisu, he's taking this base. Look at Bisu, look what he's doing. No one's even tried taking this base today. More scans. Arbiters join this party yet? Arbiters are on the way. I don't see any in the group, though. I feel like Science Vessel could get a really nice EMP off here. I really do. Man, these high ground positions. Is that all this is? It's just generally these high ground positions. Look at this SCP. Okay, so he's waiting to EMP this Arbiter. Arbiter is going to try a recall into the main base of Flash. That's definitely what BC wants to do. Whether or not I think that's a good idea. Here comes. Nope, here comes the smoke. No, it does not. No, come on. No way. No way, Jose. Bam. Ah, the EMP was late. He gets the recall off right on the edge of this base. I can't believe there was enough room for these units. So, okay, supply depots. The first target's a draft by these zealots and these dragoons. Flash does get supply blocked. I've always said, if you're going to do this, get supply depots and get factories. If you can do that, it's a successful drop. He double storms the tank that's parked underneath that factory. Very nice. Very nice there. The supply block is, it's real. It's not the end of the world here. Nice EMP gets off on these Dragoons, wiping their shields out. Causing all sorts of problems for them, and they are all going to die, but... Okay, Flash was the supply block, but then he lost a bunch of stuff, so now he's not supply blocked anymore, but he's at 161 supply to 180 for BC. So, okay, so Bisu taking this base, he's not mining from it, but he's taken this base, and he does a bunch of damage to Flash's main base, forces him to rebuild supply depots, which he doesn't want to have to do. He'd rather use that money on more Vultures or Siege Tanks or SCVs or something, anything but more supply depots, man. All right, next command center is up. He's going to, is he going to try to take this? Bisu's generally controlled this area for the entire day. Flash has not shown any real desire to move out with tanks today at all. Which I'm finding fairly curious. But the trick is Bisu's been so active out here in the middle of the map that trying to come up a ramp against an entrenched 3-2 Protoss army is tough. The high ground position is everything in this situation. You're going to be missing attacks. They're not going to be missing attacks. They're going to be dropping storms on your face the whole time. It really feels like another recall it is. It's another recall into the main base. There are some units to defend it this time. As opposed to last time when there were no units here. But I don't know. There are DTs in the mix this time. I'm on board with bringing a DT along just for the funds of it. Just for the lulls of it. 
and this is working out for Bisu, man. Dude, if Bisu manages to win this game after that opening of losing his Nexus first, I'm gonna be astounded. Not that this game is anywhere near over, but... Ooh, good storm on the science vessel. Wipes one of them out. There we go. Yeah, targeting supply depots. It's another supply block on Flash. He's gotta be so annoyed by this. Supply block now. Now he's worse supply blocked, as this is probably gonna burn down at some point. Unless Flash brings an SCV to repair it. Oh, Bisu takes this base. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about is this base here. All right, where's the play? Where is the play, lads and lasses? All right, I I mean, I can't go back on it now. What I said was, if Bisu takes both of these bases, he probably wins. So that's it, he probably wins. I'm just, I'm really shocked that Flash has just been happy to take this much of the map, defend it with his life, and not really try anything else. I find it pretty confounding. That he hasn't even attempted a single move out. It's just, it's a Turtle Terran strategy. More scanning. What else? You're just going to see more purple out here, man. There's just purple patrolling endlessly back and forth, back and forth here. And these two bases are everything. Everything. Arbiter going for it. Backing out, getting scanned, doesn't like what it sees here. Yeah, this might be the most passive turtley I've ever seen flash in a game of StarCraft Brood War. I am astounded by this. Bisu's getting air weapons level one just because... I guess why not at this stage? You've got a ton of money. What else are you going to upgrade at this point? You're working on plasma shields. Ooh, fleet beacon. Whoa, all right. Bisu says, hmm. I'm even getting this gas. It's got a lot of gas. Oh my gosh. Stasis. Attempted move out by Flash. Hold on. Attempted move out by Flash. Bisu immediately responds like white blood cells attacking an invading force in the human body. Storms on the tanks are super good as usual. Zealot bombs getting serious work done here on Pier 2. And Bisu's just like, nah, man. We're gonna throw down some stasises. We're gonna storm the heck out of your tanks. We're gonna whittle down your tank count. And guess what? I have more money than you do. So I can replace my units more easily than you can. How's that sound? Flash is like, hmm. Not, I, no, I don't like it very much. Let's see, is Bisu gonna replace his supply with anything other than just more Dragoons and Zealots and High Templar? And Arbiters. We'll see. Good snipe on that science vessel, by the way. Dude, another science vessel goes down. D-Matrix on that siege tank is nice. High Templar floating away. No, oh, obliterated. Okay. So now, serious threat. Serious threat to the 7 o'clock base of Bisus. Siege tank sieging up. Scanning the high ground. We've got a lot of commsats energy available. We can just do this. Scans the high ground, puts tanks here, gets another tank probably on this ramp once it is safe to do so based on cannon positioning. Science Vessel flies in to see what's going on. And I think Beezu's just kind of sacking this base. Beezu's like, all right, look. As long as he doesn't take it, which is actually going to be kind of hard for Beezu to stop at this point, I should be okay. You can't feel great about that, though. Dude, this Arbiter is going to kill a Science Vessel. Unless it moves away. Oh my gosh, look at him bringing SCVs in before the Nexus is gone. Oh, that's killer. Man. You're going to try to recall in here? Or you're just going to use an Arbiter to harass a little bit. All right. Uh, there's the recall. Okay, so the recall onto this position. Siege tanks siege up. Sh 
shuttles come in, zealot bombing all over the place. No storms in these guys, but every dragoon on the high ground is dead. And once that happens, a l a that must, most of your force is gone. Okay, and Bisu has lost the 7 o'clock base, and guess who's taking it now? Flash. All right. So we've seesawed back into Flash in the lead here, having this base for his own. These Arbiters are going to die, unless... They did manage to stasis, the only thing that was really stopping them from going this way. So never mind. Easy enough, I suppose. Let's not die to a missile turret, though. Good call. Great call. Actually, keeping the healthier Arbiter inside. So it's the one that takes the hits instead of the, uh, the other one. Yeah, 184 to 161 flashes up. We basically split the, split the map in half. And uh-uh. Nope. Not against the Terran. You can overwhelm them with superior money and superior forces, but if you have as many forces and as much money as they do, you're going to have a bad time. EMP, just gotta hold this bridge, boys. Here comes the evil Protoss. We've got this area covered. But if BC managed to get across here, he can maybe mount a, an attack up this way and go after some of our production, and that could actually hurt us, says Flash to his men. Man, it's amazing how flip-floppy this game has been. Definitely an epic PvT, but it's Flash and his Bisu. Like, what else do you want from this... What else do you expect from this game, right? That's pretty much it. The sheer amount of impressive plays on both sides here. This Arbiter catches an EMP and is forced to turn around. Although, he's got plus one attack now. So, okay, we're just gonna now. Here we go, recall on top of spider mines. Okay, could have been worse. Nice recall, nevertheless. And uh, then we're going to drop some shuttles worth of units in. More zealots joining this party, but not exactly synchronized on the attack. Good storms. A tank dies. There are still zealots running free inside the main, but not that many. By that, I mean there's one, and he's dead. And then that, I don't know. I think, I think that might have been the last hurrah here for Bisu. But, well, it didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do, which was win the game. But it's just hard to drop inside. Flash his main base and win the game. It is. 194 to 150 supply. 40 supply advantage here. I think that's it, man. I mean, oh, he recalls in the same spot. One more try by Bisu. Can he get it? Can he hold this position long enough to start working on these factories? Or is he just here temporarily? Is he just here to be killed by the defenders of this part of the base and then not get any damage onto these factories at all. He does kill a couple. I mean, there's a couple hits off. No way, Bisu's getting another recall off here. Holy smokes! Bisu gets another recall off here. Three recalls off in the same position. And EMP catches everything in this raiding party, though. Hang on! 134 to 143 supply. Bisu's like, yeah, maybe one recall inside Flash's main isn't enough to kill him. What about six? What if I keep recalling forever? Will it be enough? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I, I'm not convinced it's enough. Yeah, again, the invading force wiped out. And uh, Bisu down about 15 supply, so better than he was a minute ago, but no, GG. Bizu taps out and Flash is your <laughs> winner. In uh, 34 minutes and 16 seconds. Okay. Well, that was woof. That was amazing. I've never seen somebody recall into a Terran main this many times in one game. Bisu's like, okay, we well, did it twice. I'm going to do it three times down here. Maybe there was even one I forgot about. Maybe an attempt that doesn't count, but 
So it still still bears out that, yes, late game, if you're trying to just recall into a Terran's main base like Flash, it's tough. It's tough to win that way. You're going to lose a lot doing it. And if you don't do requisite amounts of damage to the other guy, it's just it's tough. It's just whittling down your forces over and over again. None of these factories died, I don't think. A lot of them are very much on fire, but not dead. And that's all that matters, right? Because reinforcing units are popping out of this thing all the time. Yeah, and then this was it. This was the game winner, right? When Flash was able to bust up this ramp, all he had to do was bust up one ramp, hold this position, and that's it. He won the game. He took this base. He let Bisu have that. He split the map in half. He was going to be more cost efficient. Defend against carriers. Defend against recalls, whatever's coming, and you're good. Just defend, 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 defend. It was an insane display of Turtle Terran for a lot of this match, and it gets the win today. Again, he did make one tiny move out from here up this ramp to here. That's it. His tanks never really cross the halfway point of this map, except in this specific location. It's incredible how much one tiny move allowed him to get the foothold and the position to win this game. But that's Flash, man. This started with a Nexus first denial, by the way. Bisu almost came back and won it. That's crazy. 264,000 points to 268,000 points. Flash out producing BC 668 to 455. Gas not great. And then getting out killed by only five units. I mean, this is it right here. This is the efficiency numbers of the units. Resources going to tell a story here to BC about seven, almost 8,000 more resources today. Wait, less than that. So six, 6,000 ish more resources today. In 34 minutes, it's just not quite enough. Uh, and a PVT. It, it hasn't historically been. And it probably never will be either enough in general. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> GG. GG. Well done. Flash gets the win. Impressive display for our Patreon cast of the week. Oh, this is actually spelled wrong. This is Obersvers instead of Observers. On this version of benzene. That's hilarious. Obersvers. Good times. All right. Well, on that note, that little spelling note, that's going to be it for me. This is Ben, Falcon Paladin, coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.